Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome to another uh, boss guide for the Shadows of the Erdtree DLC. This is the Death Knight Large Axe version. Uh, this guy is pretty easy. He's like the other little twin axe version, um, but he's got like three big lightning axe attacks instead. Uh, and I guess I'll start showing where these bosses are, because people have asked me, and I just was trying not to spoil things for people, but... Ultimately, I guess it doesn't matter too much. So he is the boss of the Scorpion River Catacombs. And uh, yeah, if you're enjoying these guides and find them helpful, you can support by checking out the links in the description below, interacting with the video, or checking out the Twitch slash Patreon. Thank you to those that do that. Okay. Um, so yeah, very similar to the other Death Knights. You can watch that video if you want even more tips and stuff. I need to grab my runes because we actually have a lot. So Lightning Spear, simply roll to the left. He's going to do a big lightning charge like that and a swing. Simply roll it. And uh, I think he did the big jump slam as well there. Uh, so yeah, this guy is super duper staggerable. I don't know if it's just my, um, my weapon, but every time we do a jump attack like that, you can see he kind of staggers. Uh, and then he will literally stagger if we hit him enough times. So I went for it there, which is going to punish me here. I'm going to run away from his roll catches. Hit him here. Yeah, he's probably close to staggering, and there it is. So we're going to give him a critical hit. Now, I think when he gets to a certain health bar uh, level, he will start to do that grab attack. There it is. So roll to the right or roll into him. Whatever you do, do not get hit by that grab attack, because he will heal himself when he grabs you, like suck your life out, basically. So you do not want that to happen. All right, roll into him here. Easy peasy. I'm going to hit him with the L2 and the R2 combo. Oh, and he gets staggered. Oh, that's so unfortunate for you, little guy. All right, let's watch what he does. I think he's done every attack pretty much. Um, I think. Uh, has he not done... Oh, he does this crazy whirlwind spin that leaves behind a bunch of electricity behind him as well. So I would like to show that off. Basically, it's another just dash into him and make sure you're not standing on the aftershocks. Pretty much. Uh, and then we didn't really see his, like, he does a big jump and slam. Oh, we did see that. Okay, so that you just roll into. Easy peasy. Gonna whittle him down a little bit more. Okay, do the do the weird thing. He does this big he does this big lightning spin move. Okay, that you just roll into. Gonna hit him once here. Come on, show the people. The people wanna see, man. Do the crazy thing. Do the uh, big whirlwind spin that you do. Ow. Hold on. Okay, hold on. I'm trying to wait for you to do the thing. Do the thing! Okay, roll to the side for the lightning. Roll into him. All right, he's not going to do the thing, I guess. Well, into him here, so we're just going to... Boop! And how do we want to kill this guy? Unless you want to do it. Okay, roll the grab. Do not get grabbed by that. Whatever you do. We'll give you one last chance, man. Come on, you can go out with a bang. Wouldn't that be neat? Oh, yeah, and also he will dash, uh, lightning dash into you, which is a part of these lightning weapons. So if you get hit by the dash, you will uh, get take a little bit chip damage. So keep that in mind. So yeah, pretty straightforward dude there, um, and you get the, yeah, very similar to the other one, like I said, so if you check out the other, uh, you know, Death Knight guide, very similar. But, uh, yeah, he will do the lightning charge into you, which will damage you and kind of stun you, it doesn't really do too much. He'll do the kind of jump up, big lightning slam, easy roll into, he will do, uh, yeah, he didn't show it, but he'll do this kind of like whirlwind spin attack, which again, you want to roll into him and just be out of the way of the lightning aftershocks. Uh, he'll do like a standard, I think, whirlwind spin, which again, roll into him. And yeah, just really got to watch out for that grab. That's the only thing. When he kind of does the transformation and dashes towards you, make sure uh, you either dash into him or you roll to the right. Because if you get grabbed, he will heal like his whole health bar. At least the other one did. I've never been grabbed by this guy. Uh, and yeah, that's about it. Other than that, just uh, very you know typical Elden Ring slower hits that are trying to trick you into rolling into it. So you know if you're having a tough time with those, practice makes perfect, and practice rolling the timings. Otherwise, Death Knight, Long Shaft, Axe, whatever, is dead. Hope you found this guide helpful. Uh, and thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.